Welcome to Wise Owl Wisdom Channel. Reason is the slave of the passions. David Hume, in the heart of a bustling city, lived a young and contemplative artist named Clara. She was known for her exceptional talent and her unwavering dedication to her craft. Yet beneath her outward success, Clara grappled with a constant struggle between reason and emotion. One day, while wandering through an antique bookstore, Clara stumbled upon a weathered book by the philosopher David Hume. Intrigued, she delved into its pages, discovering a profound assertion. Reason is the slave of the passions. These words struck a chord with her. Clara had always believed in the supremacy of reason, relying on logic to guide her decisions and actions. But Hume's assertion challenged her perspective, prompting her to re-evaluate the relationship between reason and emotion. As Clara contemplated Hume's philosophy, she encountered a young violinist named Ethan. He played with such passion that his music seemed to dance with his heart's deepest desires. Curious, Clara struck up a conversation with him, and he shared how his emotions fueled his creativity, guiding his fingers along the strings with an intensity he could hardly describe. Ethan's story resonated deeply with Clara. She realized that while reason had served her well, there was a profound depth to human experience that could only be accessed through the raw, unbridled power of emotions. She began to experiment with her art, allowing her emotions to guide her strokes and colors. However, as Clara surrendered to her passions, she found herself struggling to maintain a balance. Emotions could be unpredictable and overwhelming, leading her down paths she hadn't intended. It was then that she truly understood Hume's words. Reason had to act as a guide, not a slave, to her passions. She sought the guidance of a wise old philosopher in the city who shared stories of Hume's philosophy and its implications. He explained that emotions were like a river, powerful and wild, while reason was the rudder of a boat, steering the course to avoid crashing against the rocks. With newfound insight, Clara embarked on a journey of harmonizing reason and emotion. She embraced the wisdom of Hume, recognizing that her passions could fuel her creativity, but it was reason that would lend direction and purpose to her art. As Clara's paintings evolved, they spoke of a profound fusion of heart and mind, a testament to the delicate balance she had achieved. Her work now resonated with others on a profound level, capturing the essence of human experience vibrant, passionate, and guided by the steady hand of reason. And so Clara's journey became a testament to the transformative power of David Hume's philosophy. It wasn't about choosing reason over emotion or vice versa. It was about understanding their intricate dance and finding a harmony that allowed her art to speak 